Hello, my name is Kain Son Munonye, the application developer, and in this video I'm going to teach you how to navigate through records through Microsoft Access database records in NetBeans Java. Of course, in NetBeans uh, I write my codes uh, in Java. So, uh, what do you need for you to be able to follow this demo? What you just need is Microsoft Access database in your system and also NetBeans. In the previous tutorial, I, I, I teach you how to connect NetBeans to uh, MS Access database and display the table on the form. That was in a, a different uh, demo. I, I explained how to, to, to display uh, records from Microsoft Access database on a form in NetBeans using the Java language. So in this uh, demo, I'm going to teach you how to create something like a form view. That is a form where you have a, a record from the database display and then you're able to navigate through the records uh, just like you, you, you can navigate through any other records uh, database uh, or any other table. So, uh, what are the steps involved here? So, we have uh, about four steps. Of course, each of these steps may have uh, sub steps, but the main steps is these four steps I've outlined here. So, the first step is to create the form. In NetBeans, you create the form. Of course, in my previous demo, I explained how to create a form in NetBeans. And the next, you create a connection. I've also explained that in my previous video. And then you develop your codes. And then you code for the controls. That is the, the buttons for navigation. For instance, the next, the previous, the first, the last, the add, the clay. All these buttons, you have to code for them. So, uh, there are a number of functions you need to keep in mind. If you able to understand how these functions work, then you are able to, to develop a complete form view using NetBeans. So I've outlined these functions. They are about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have nine functions here. And actually, this demo, we will learn how to navigate through records in the database. And we also learn how to add new record. In my next video, I'm going to teach you how to delete a record and also how to update an existing record. But for now, we want to focus on how to, to, to navigate through the records and also how to, to to insert a new record uh, using NetBeans into MS Access database. So I'd like us to go out to the field to NetBeans and then look at what we want to work with. So keep in mind all these all this functions as we are going to look at them. But in another video after now, I'll show you how to, to I will explain each of these forms, the codes in these forms. And of course, after now too, I'll be able to place all these codes in the in, in the link be, uh, under my video so that you can copy them and reuse them because the same form for, for face, next, uh, last and previous are the same forms you can use in your, in your application. So let's go to NetBeans so that we see for ourselves. All right, so this is a uh, NetBeans environment, as you know, and then right away, I would like to run this file so that we see what we expected to work with. Uh, no, let's, uh, okay. I like going to projects and saying uh, run file. Okay, so we have this file displayed here. Sorry, just a minute. Let me do something else. Oh, 
Okay, please. let's use this. So we have this form I've created with these few controls. So here you have the test field where you display your records. Here you have the navigation. And here you have the show count. The show count button displays the number of records in the database, the save, the clear field, and the labels. So now I would like to navigate. After navigating, I add one or two records, and then you see how it works. So let's go to the first record. Sorry, uh, we have to run, not preview. We're under the we under the preview. But now let's go to run the file and see. Okay, so this is here the file. This is the form. So let's go and navigate the records after which we show count. We also add a new record and then we go back to the code to see what happens. So first, so we see the first record last. We only have two records there in the database. Okay, so that's how it works. Clear field, everything place, display, clear, show count, two records found. So I want to go ahead to insert uh, a record and see how it works. So let's add a record that says uh, G201. Sorry, I want to use uh, uppercase letters G blah blah blah. Name Osniel Munanye. Other name, okay. I did not add the labels for this. So uh, the, the first one is student ID. First name, last name, other name, and then department. So, other name is this, and the department is mechanical engineering. Okay, and that's just fine. So, let's save. Save, okay, that's just fine. So, show count, uh, you have three records as you can see here, three records. So let's just add a different one and see what happens. Let's say uh, G9087 same surname um, but this time let's use uh, a Greek Economics. Take note that we have just three records, but now we are saving a different record and show count we have four records. Okay, so the same thing we can navigate through these records. Uh, can navigate through the records. I don't know, the previous button is having problem, but We'll get over that in a minute, but for now, this is the basic way the form view works. And let's go to look at these functions. I told you there are these functions about uh, uh, nine functions, just nine functions you need to learn, and then you are good to go. So let's go to the code view of our application and look at this. So to get to the code view, you just go to source, and you have it. Of course, I've explained all this before now. They are generated uh, codes, and now I have these uh, declarations here. So let's go ahead to the functions. We have the public main form, and inside we have just this, init component and create result set, that's all. So I have the public void create result set. First, last, next, previous, clear boxes, save records, and show counts. So, um, 
Then if we go down, here we see all the buttons. So each of the buttons call the, the corresponding form. For instance, the, the BTM first is actually the name of the button or the, 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 the button there. So first it calls the first button, the first uh, uh, function and displays the first record and so on. So what is inside all of this? Now we have this. But um, I'd like us to stop here for now. And in the next part, I'll, I'll now explain. I'll be able to enlarge or increase the size of this uh, test and be able to explain these functions one after the other. But for now, I'd like us to to stop here and for now I'm sure you've understood that to be able to navigate records is a no much uh, big deal if you're able to understand how these functions work so look out for my next video where I'll explain all the functions you need for navigation and for insertion of record into MS uh, Microsoft Access Database and I'm sure this particular video although short I'm sure it has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.